Yo, what is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on the Gibby Gitty YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple things that you can do to these S197 cars that can get them to around 3,200 pounds. These cars come factory around 3,600 pounds and that's pretty heavy for if you're wanting to street race or race on the drag strip. So here's some tips on how to get your car to around 3,200 pounds or sub 3,000. So first thing first, I feel everyone does a rear seat delete. And I also got rid of all the sound enter, everything in the trunk. So that's going to be around 15 pounds. You're getting off of just the rear of the car. So that's 15 pounds off the way of your car. So another thing for the interior would be a set of race seats or lightweight seats. For example, for my car, I'm going to be going to a set of Kirky lightweight seats. These things you can literally pick up with two fingers. So that will be shaving around, I think it's around 80 pounds in total because I'm going to do the passenger and the driver's side. So that's 80 pounds right there, just off the car. I know it's not the front, but we're going to get there. Now your second easiest thing to do to get weight off of the car would be to throw a drag pack on the car. They're not only lighter, but you can also hook super well with a drag pack. As you can see, I have this Street RRs. It is a 305 tire. This thing hooks amazing. I know it's NA, but still, you've seen these things. You've launched these things. I have two step and everything and I still hook. It's set at 3,000 RPM. It should maybe be set higher, but even when I had it around 3,500, it still hooked. It spins a little bit off the line, but this car, it actually really gets after it. And I really want to film some videos of me doing a couple of polls and whatnot, but Central Illinois, it's starting to get cold now. So that's just gonna have to be a next spring thing, but next spring, this thing is going to be awesome. So another thing, another benefit with the drag pack is little cookie cutters up front. These things are super light and it also takes weight off the front of your car. I know these are SVE, they're a little heavier than say like a weld wheel, but you know, that's all I can afford at the moment. Found an amazing deal on Marketplace. So I definitely just, I scoop those things up and hey, there's some weight off the car. Now another thing would be a tubular K member. Uh, this will shave around, I want to say 20 to 30 pounds off the front of your car. Uh, they are, I want to say they're like 688 bucks on B or on, what's it called? On LMR. So definitely go up there, get yourself a tubular K member and pretty darn easy to swap. Just you can either jack up the back of your motor or you can just have a uh, engine like the crossbar that just holds the motor up. Now for the fourth thing, it will be a lightweight steering column. Now I do not have neither the tubular cam member or the lightweight steering column, but that stuff is coming. So stay tuned on that. I'm also going to be installing it on the YouTube channel. So a couple install videos maybe, you know. Um, but that will shave, I think it's around 10 to 15 pounds off of your car. Uh, that's also on the front end. And then while you're at it, might as well move the battery to the back. So that's another thing that I'm going to do to this car. Uh, I'm going to try to get this thing around. I want to be in the 3100s, just the car, not with me in it. Um, so we'll see if this is achievable, but hopefully it's going to be achievable throughout this winter. So definitely stay tuned, guys. Stay tuned on this car. So also being up front on the car, you can also get yourself a set of lightweight drag brakes. So those will sh probably shave around 10, 15 pounds as well off the front of the car. So now the front of the car, for as cheap as possible, is as light as possible. So that's your best bang for your buck items to get mainly that'd be a couple hundred pounds off your car now the last and final thing that i would do to get my car this is around 3200 pounds 
would be a lightweight aluminum drive shaft. Not only does this uh, reduce your weight, but it also reduces the amount of rotating mass going to your rear end. So that's going to be more horsepower going to your rear wheels. And boom, there you go, you're lighter and you're going faster with some more horsepower. So those right there would be about the only things I would do to get my car to around 3,200 pounds. And that, even that, I know 400 pounds doesn't seem like a lot, but it is, especially in a car. So definitely do those things and you're gonna be cooking. And also another thing that I wanted to note was I know in my last video I was loading in the Palm Beach Dino Tune. Um, a tuner actually hit me up. It is called uh, Rocks Automotive and Tuning. And he actually hit me up to basically sponsor this car in free tunes. So whatever I do to it, free revisions, everything. So definitely check Rocks Automotive and Tuning out on Facebook. He's online. Uh, I'm pretty sure he is also on Instagram. Um, I'm definitely going to check into him a little bit more and check out if I actually uh, want his tune and everything. But definitely, this car might be definitely one to watch. So guys, stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. See you on the next one.